letting go of your divine masculine is actually what magnetizes the physical body back. I'm Annalisa and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be wearing sunglasses because I have an eye issue going on on the right side of my eye. I had a sty and now there's sort of like a blister or a lump underneath of it. So and not great to look at so I thought I'd wear my sunglasses and but what I want to say in this video is when you let go of the physical body and stop chasing your person is actually when your person comes back and what I mean by that is that your divine masculine is a physical representation of you of the divine masculine energy you are the divine feminine energy and most of you listening to me would be the divine feminine energy because it is the divine feminine energy that is looking for information that is the chasing one that is the spiritual one this is for most twin flame couples the divine masculine energy is the matrix twin the one that is running from the divine feminine but what I want you to understand is that the Divine Masculine energy and this whole twin flame energetic connection is simply that. It's an energetic connection in the 5D. It is simply energy. And what the mistake that the Divine Feminine makes, which is very, very common, which I myself have done as well, is thinking that the Divine Masculine is separate from us and they are not separate from us they are within us because in this connection the more focus you put on the divine masculine and i know that there's a body there there's absolutely a body there and i'm not saying there's no body there what i'm saying is this connection is energy so they came in to awaken you to the masculine energy within yourself and you have the feminine energy and you have the masculine energy. They are the masculine energy in that body, but you hold that within yourself. That is why you're one soul, you're one frequency. So it's all about the dance of the masculine and the feminine energy. When you learn to dance in that energy, you learn to neutralize the energy where you are not dominant in either energy. And all of this is part of your kundalini that gets activated, right? Which is attempting to clear all your chakras and to activate your spiritual gifts. And when you do this, you're able to understand energy a little bit more. You're able to have your all your clairs be activated. And the more that you attempt to use your clairs, the easier it becomes the journey you realize everything is energy what i also want to say is that when a physical symptom happens in your body which i'm going to use myself as an example i have a right situation going on underneath my right eye and kind of came out of nowhere and i'm looking at that as an opportunity for me to go inward even more i always say you can never be completely healed because there's always things that come up in the 3D. There's always other obstacles that come up in the environment with your family, with perhaps your coworkers, people that you meet, and just community members in general that might come up. And all of this happens to help you go inward. So the situation that's going on with my right eye is not a coincidence, right? It didn't happen for no reason. Obviously, I don't know exactly what brought it on, but it's an opportunity for me to not be in victim mentality, right? But to look at this as an opportunity for me to sit with myself and see what it is that I'm not seeing, right? Because it's the eye, so it's about seeing, right? What is it that I'm possibly not seeing, whether it's on the subconscious level or even consciously that I'm telling myself stories, right? Or I'm not wanting to see something, right? So this is an opportunity for me to do this inner work, right? And it's not always about the divine masculine. It's about you, it's about your life in general. So even us coaches, right? 
go through different things in our lives which can cause physical things but and that is what this whole awakening path is all about this awakening path is teaching you to go inwards to reflect to go within and see what comes up as to what is it that possibly I'm not wanting to see or willing to see or that I haven't dealt with yet right and the more that you learn to do this, being on this awakening path, that is what allows the Kundalini to flow, the energy to flow freely within your system and to let go of attachments, right? Let go of needing anything outside of yourself. And it's when we don't deal with things, right? When we are attached to others, to different things, people, situations, we're not dealing with what actually is going in within us is that physical illness happens a situation like this right can happen again not looking at this as oh i can't believe this is happening why is this happening instead of looking and being grateful for having this opportunity to deal with what it is that's going on inwardly so i thank the universe for allowing this to happen so i can go inward so this whole journey is about you detaching from the needing the attachment of the physical body they will come in when you no longer attach to them when you let go completely is when they come back in and then again it's all a balance of the energy so if you need some help at all in the twin flame path in how to detach how to do the inner work i do have a website in the hidden kingdom.com but the more that you let go of the physical body and detach from needing them that allows your divine masculine to breathe that allows them to come back in and to come back in in a way that you want them to come back in in an energy that is in a divine masculine energy I, I do believe that it is your birthright to be with your divine masculine but they are within you first you have to recognize that it's about the energy that it's about you that once you do the inner work once you let go what once it doesn't matter then the universe will automatically attract them back in because they are you. You're never separate from them. You've never been separate from them. Work on yourself, do the inner work, fulfill your own needs and not suppressing emotions, right? Feeling the emotions, right? Whatever's coming up for you and then alchemize that energy into love, into peace, into joy. That is what the twin flame path is teaching you how to be the alchemist how to be in your beautiful energy that is within you to connect with your soul to to be to just be and that is a beautiful journey to be on while letting go of fear and knowing that fear will only keep you trapped and that is what the ego does the ego keeps you trapped so this journey is teaching you to let go of fear and trust yourself trust your intuition trust the divine trust your higher self to guide the way but it starts with you it's all about your energy your divine masculine is within yourself first and then the body is there to remind you of the areas to work on so i hope this was helpful feel free to leave any comments below sending you all so much love